What do you see as the biggest challenges facing the world today? Well, I think there are many um, challenges affecting global security right now. Um, and if you look at the war in Ukraine and Putin's uh, invasion of Ukraine, or if you look at what's happening in the Middle East, um, there are real threats to global security. If we look at the Middle East, Israel endured one of the most atrocious uh, acts of brutality that it's seen in decades by the terrorist group Hamas. It's also under attack from Hezbollah. And Israel has the right to defend herself within the realms of, within the limits of international law, of course. But those calls for an immediate ceasefire are naive and dangerous. And I want to make clear that I'm against those calls for an immediate ceasefire because this war in the Middle East could stop tomorrow. If Hamas laid down their arms, if Hamas returned the hostages that they still hold in captivity illegally, and if Hamas committed to peace, that's how we get an immediate ceasefire. It is not for Israel to unilaterally disarm in the face of an imminent and immediate threat posed by Hamas in Gaza. But the 29,800 civilians have been killed in this uh, Israeli bombing in Gaza, including thousands of women and children. Is this something you really want to see continuing? What's wrong with the humanitarian ceasefire while the other things are worked out? Well, of course, humanitarian protection should be provided for civilians. International law requires it. And that is why there is more that other countries might be able to do, like Egypt and, I, and Israel itself have made provision uh, for the humanitarian aspects of this conflict. But let's be clear, Hamas have been um, unrelenting uh, in their attacks on Israel brutal to the extreme in unspeakable ways, and they would do it again. And Hamas leaders, Hamas operatives, are holed up in all parts of Gaza, but also in Rafa. And so it's incumbent on any self-respecting government to do what it needs to do to protect its citizens. Israel is currently under constant and violent attack from Hamas, and therefore it does need to protect itself. It does need to elim eliminate Hamas, and we need to maintain our support for Israel in that endeavor. Ideas of India, yeah, ideas of India. ABP Networks, Ideas of India.